my name is Tom Rahassel. I'm a director of business programs here at Microsoft, uh, specifically within our worldwide global sales and marketing organization. Uh, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we use the Microsoft Power Platform internally here at Microsoft to support uh, our global sales operations. And specifically, uh, I'll be talking about our account planning tool, which is really our first attempt at using the Power Platform. Uh, and it's been our most successful uh, attempt at using the platform. Uh, over the next 15 minutes, uh, I'll do a little bit of slides talking about some of the business context, about our team, and kind of the scenario of account planning. Uh, and then I'll quickly dive into uh, more of a demo to really sort of walk you through high level uh, how a seller, a sales manager, uh, and how a sales leader uh, will, will leverage this solution. Uh, so let's get into it. So a little bit more about the team that built uh, the account planning tool uh, originally. So again, a reminder, uh, we work within the worldwide global sales and marketing organization, uh, specifically on the sales process and tools team. Uh, and really the charter of our team is to standardize and digitize uh, our global sales processes. Uh, certainly, we work closely with the Dynamics 365 for customer engagement technology uh, as the core. Uh, we think of uh, D365 as sort of that kernel of what we call the Microsoft sales experience. Uh, and then really what my team has done over the last couple of years is begun to leverage the power of the Microsoft Power Platform uh, to enable those last mile sales processes that simply due to time and capacity, uh, quite honestly, have been neglected. Uh, so if you meet the account planning team, uh, I've got Ben Gibbons, who's the overall capability lead uh, for divining and driving the strategy of account planning. Uh, and then I also have Tasha and Sundar, uh, who are really driving the technical implementation of the solution uh, on, on behalf of the team. And then certainly I want to call out and recognize Harmony Professional Services. Uh, that was a key partner for us in, in helping to develop the, the solution. Um, so a little bit more about our global business. It is a large, large uh, book of business that we support, uh, north of 80 plus billion in annual commercial sales, uh, spread across hundreds of countries and 14 geographical areas, uh, hundreds of thousands of direct business relationships and millions of indirect relationships, tens of thousands of sellers uh, across sellers, managers, and leaders, uh, and they scale through uh, tens of thousands of partners. Many different roles uh, that it takes to come together and to orchestrate as an account team. Uh, and really that's where account planning plays a key part to make sure that all the various different roles are aligned on a common account strategy uh, and we can show up as one Microsoft uh, with the customer. Uh, certainly like many of you, we've been in a journey over the past two years to uh, figure out how do we leverage the power of the power, power platform to make ourselves more efficient uh, and more effective. We think of ourselves as a customer first uh, at Microsoft and we just happen to work for the same company uh, that builds this product. So certainly we've been on our own internal journey ourselves. Uh, account planning has been certainly been our most popular uh, solution that we have built. It's one of the, the highest, most used solutions at the company. Uh, but since then, certainly we've taken advantage uh, of the platform to build many other solutions uh, with processes that uh, historically have been neglected. Uh, a little bit about what account planning is. Simply put, it's about building an account strategy. Uh, at the highest level, the process is just uh, four steps. It's really about uh, doing that research on the industry and the customer objectives uh, and generating any other insights. It's about documenting those insights and documenting that, that uh, plan uh, that needs to be of quality that sales managers and leaders can review. Uh, those plans need to be maintained and refreshed throughout the fiscal year, uh, especially as market conditions change and customer objectives change. Uh, and those plans need to be made available and accessible uh, so that when, for example, executives need to meet uh, with a customer, uh, it's easy for him or her to have the latest on the account strategy at their at their fingertips. 
Uh, like many other Power Platform projects, certainly this process uh, historically has been fraught uh, with inefficiencies. It used to be automated using PowerPoint and SharePoint. Uh, plans became stale very quickly because it wasn't digitized. Uh, and again, because it wasn't digitized, there was a lack of operational insights to help sales managers and sales leaders drive actions. Uh, and then ultimately, at the end of the day, this manifested itself in the form of lack of seller productivity, which meant less time with customers and partners. Uh, and certainly we wanna do all that we can do to make sure that our sales teams can spend as much time with customers and partners uh, as possible. Uh, high level overview uh, about the solution. I won't go into too much detail here because we'll, we'll talk more about this during the demo, but certainly we use all three legs of the stool, as I call it, of the Power Platform. We use Canvas apps to build, manage, and review uh, those plans. Uh, we use Power Automate uh, to help take those plans uh, out of a database and into a, a document uh, that uh, folks can view offline. Uh, we use Power BI to expose insights on top of all that newly digitized account planning information and to help drive action. Uh, and then certainly, you know, no different than a lot of you, our data is everywhere at Microsoft. And so we use a variety of connectors, especially the common data service connector uh, and the SQL server connector to tap into uh, other CRM platforms or other uh, line of business systems uh, to, to capture that data and, and to expose that data. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into a, a demo from a seller perspective. Okay, so here we are in the account planning tool, and this is the tool that sellers would go into to not only create, but also update uh, their plans over time. Uh, here I am on a fictitious account called Contoso Inc. Uh, and the first page that a seller might land on is what's called the strategy map here. And really what the screen does is it allows the seller to really take a step back and making sure that their strategy is holistic and that we're really aligning, you know, sort of both parts of the plan back to their customer objectives, uh, and then ultimately the sales pipeline that, that generate revenue uh, out of our core Dynamics instance. Uh, but if I was coming new into planning, or maybe I was just wanting to go through another sort of major refresh uh, of the strategy, it really starts with research, uh, as I mentioned before. And if this was an actual account, I would have pre-populated industry research and trends and information as well as news uh, from my worldwide industry team. And traditionally, these are things that sellers have to go off and try to figure out uh, themselves. Um, then it's about really diving deep on the customer research, uh, really documenting about uh, what they're about, what their vision is, what their mission is, uh, but more importantly, really documenting those customer objectives that ultimately we need to align uh, our Microsoft efforts to and, and jointly agree with the customer about how we're going to help them go and drive uh, digital transformation. Certainly there's a lot of internal Microsoft research that we also need to do and document. Uh, again, information unfortunately is everywhere at Microsoft, but here at their fingertips, I have those critical links uh, where they can drill into and, and, and get more insights uh, to help them sort of document uh, more of their internal plan for the customer. Uh, all relationships uh, start with contacts. It's important you take a step back and, and look at your contact footprint at the customer site. Uh, more importantly, those that are tied to the strategic plan. And so here we're pulling information directly out of our CRM system uh, and allowing the sellers to really kind of look at it through a BDM and an ITM uh, perspective, as well as making sure you're looking at it even from a job role uh, perspective. Uh, additionally, uh, the most important source of contact information is on LinkedIn. And so through a single click, how do I jump out to uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator uh, and begin to uh, review as well as potentially even to engage uh, with that contact. Another big part of the strategy is documenting the competitive situation at the customers. Certainly we look at it through the Microsoft lens. Is AWS in there? Is Google in there? Uh, what's our strategy to engage on that front, uh, as well as it's important to really understand who are the customer's competitors, because ultimately that's who we're helping uh, to, to sort of engage on their own uh, competitive threats. We don't go alone. 
when we go to market, it's very important for us to analyze and document uh, the partner strategy. Uh, so again, bringing in who are those partners that the customer has worked with uh, in the past uh, with us and really documenting what is the strategy of that partner uh, within the account. Certainly there's uh, also a Microsoft internal uh, services perspective we need to be thinking about. What is our consulting strategy uh, with that customer as well as what is that support strategy? Uh, and then ultimately it's about taking all that information above and beginning to document what are called priorities. Um, and these priorities are really sort of cover our four sort of go-to-market uh, uh, patterns when it comes to digital transformation, as well as our four go-to-market patterns when it comes to our technical solution areas. Uh, and then ultimately it's about generating those projects uh, with the customer that ultimately accrue to that business objective value. And those projects are in the form of sales pipeline that we track uh, directly within our, our Dynamics 365 instance. So here uh, I can begin to map those opportunities back to plan uh, where again, I can tie that all the way back up to uh, achieving business objectives. So I won't go through everything here, but hopefully that just gives you a taste of how this Canvas app sort of guides the seller through the process and how it allows them to manage their account plan in a, in a digital form. Now that you've gotten a taste of the seller experience, let's look at account planning through the sales manager lens and specifically how we use Power BI and another Power App to enable that. So as a sales manager, the first thing I might do is go into my Power BI based account planning operational insights dashboard. I can quickly filter in onto the sales territories that I cover. I can see a variety of different indicators about how well my sales team members are executing on the process and are they doing it with quality. I can start to see some trends that are going on uh, within the customers in which I manage. Uh, and then I have the ability to drill into account level detail. And specifically, I have at my fingertips the ability to, to pull up any account plan uh, in a separate Power Apps-based experience uh, that allows me to consume it in a, a more digestible way. Uh, so here you can see what we call uh, the reviewer or the presenter app. Um, it's almost like a PowerPoint-based like experience, but obviously much, much more interactive and connecting directly back to all that account planning data. So if I immediately want to drive into a specific section of the plan, for example, here, I want to see how well my, my seller is collaborating with the rest of the V team on the account plan. I can see who's participating on the account plan. What's the customer's vision versus what's our vision. Uh, maybe I want to have a conversation around what are the technical priorities and our opportunities uh, for that account. So I can quickly go uh, and view those uh, priorities on the plan. Uh, and certainly I'm not going to navigate through every section of the account plan, but you can just get a taste of now that I've actually digitized uh, this process, I've gotten it out of PowerPoint. I have the insights that I need uh, in order to figure out where I need to go take action. And I have the ability to drill into and, and pull up that account plan with super speed uh, and get immediately into a coaching conversation. So now let's quickly look at how we support our sales leaders and our executives uh, using Power Automate. So as an executive, before I go and meet with a customer, the first thing I might want to do is go into the reviewer app and export a copy of the actual account plan so that I can review it on the road. Because it's so easy for my sales team members to keep it up to date, I'm confident that the account plan is refreshed and has the latest and greatest information. And I don't have to bother my account team members to, to go and prep something special for me. It's all here at my fingertips. Uh, and what that button does to actually export it is it invokes uh, what I think is probably one of the world's largest uh, flows ever written. Uh, it scrolls through a lot of information uh, spread across SQL servers, uh, our Dynamics 365 instance, other versions of CDSs, uh, and then ultimately populates a Word template uh, that we have hosted on a SharePoint site. Uh, that exported Word document is then emailed to me to where uh, within minutes, I can go into my email inbox and see that copy of the account plan sitting there. Uh, and I can pull that up in Word and begin to uh, review it in preparation for my visit. So again, historically, I would have to go bother uh, the seller, take time away from the customer in order to get me prepped 
uh, for that customer visit. And now I have all that information at my fingertips. So hopefully account planning has given you a little bit of a taste about how we use the Power Platform internally to quite frankly help us drive our own internal uh, digital transformation here at Microsoft. Me and my team have certainly seen the benefits of the platform through its increased development agility. It used to take us months and years to get solutions to market and now we can do that in days and weeks. Uh, from a speed and savings perspective, it used to take us millions of dollars to actually do uh, something like the account planning solution and now we've just done that uh, with a handful of resources. And certainly it makes us much, much more efficient as we can now tap into data sources to help bring our, our processes to life more, more than ever. If you want to learn more about the account planning solution, you can go to aka.ms uh, backslash Microsoft account planning. Uh, with that, I just want to thank you for your time today. And don't hesitate to reach out to any of your Microsoft contacts if you want to learn more about account planning. Thank you.